I have my Winchester 7035 out here. Um, these guns are awesome, but they are a little heavy to be carrying with um, without a sling on them. So today I am going to be mounting some swivel studs so that I can put a sling on it so I can carry my 7035 free-handed, which will be awesome. So first what we're going to do is I'm going to take the action off, which all it is, you'll need an Allen wrench and it's one Allen screw right here underneath. Pretty simple. Basically, slides right out. So I'm going to set that to the side and then make sure I get my screw so I don't lose it. What I'm going to have to do is I got another set of wood screws like this because this only comes with one wood screw and then the other screw actually screws into a nut right here. But the stock is so thin at the, for at the front of the gun that it's not going to work. I'm going to go about 12 inches because the further back you get, the thicker the stock gets and I want my wood screw to have something to hold on to. So let me put my tape about right here so I'm not marking up the gun. Put a pencil mark right there. And then I also want to find center right here so I get the kind of kind of eyeball it a little bit. So I've got about an inch and three quarters. So a half of an inch and three quarters is da, 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 about seven eighths. So X marks the spot. Okay, so I have my spot marked. Now this is a punch. It helps you get the hole started so you get it started straight. You're not slipping and sliding all over the wood. You're just gonna put the point in the center, press down on it. Makes you a nice little starter mark. All right, so here we go. I've been so nervous about this, guys. I so don't wanna mess my gun up, but here we go. All the way through. Oh. Looks good, looks good. Here we go. And one trick that I've seen is that you just put, well, I can put it on the wood, a little drop of liquid soap. And it helps, I'll put some on the screw too. It helps the screw to go in better. It might be overkill, but. There looks straight. Oh yeah, perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get me some tape. Let me see about where I'm gonna put it. It's probably about two, two and a half inches back from the butt. Looks about an inch and a half, so three quarters of an inch would be center. All right. All right, so that's about center. All right, so I've got my mark where I'm going to put it. It's about two and a half inches back from the butt, and I've got my punch that I'm using. All right, put the point in the middle of the X. I want to make sure I get the drill straight up and down. Maybe just a tad bit deeper. I think that'll do, guys. So, clean it up a little bit. All right, let's put this gun back together. Pretty much it. I've got my swivel studs mounted on my Winchester 7035. Now I can just sling it up to my shoulder and I'm ready to go. That's pretty awesome. Now it's time to put some swivel screws on my Winchester 7045.
Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Airgun Pro Shop. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV. See ya.